Welcome in everyone, American in Leeds, the American in Leeds YouTube and Spotify channel. Search <clears throat> at American in Leeds. You can also find me on Twitter. What is up with the Twitter rebrand? I'm not a fan of it. Random X now comes on the screen, but I can still tweet. What What is this? Um... I still think it's a great source of news and information. However, I am slowly growing concerned. Just in the rebrand, poor launch. Uh, that is it for my opinion on that. This and more leads takes. From uh, Bangkok to Beeston, uh, Alaska to Australia, Wallamaloo and Kalamazoo, Michigan, we are Leeds United. We are a massive club. Um, welcome, uh, like, subscribe. All right, top of the order today, I re-watched the Monaco game. Um, Leo Hjelda, for me, was not a left back. I don't think he went forward enough, and he also got into some bad positions and coughed the ball up, for lack of a better phrase, um, in some really poor positions for me and if it was against other teams uh higher than monaco they would punish us heavily luckily we're playing in the championship and um hopefully um you know teams won't be as good as monaco but playing out of the back for me has always been even under bielsa um, great if we're not being pressed. If we are being pressed, uh, it can be a little dicey, um, specifically with Mesley. And look, this is still, the Monaco game was very early doors in the Farca era. But um, for me, I just don't didn't like what I saw from Leo Hjelda early doors. And obviously, as we know, Junior Furpo is probably once out of the club um, and he's injured and he gets red cards and he gets a lot of yellow cards. So it's, I just think he needs to, um, he can stay, but I think that position needs to be in competition. Crescencio Somerville in the 10, Crescencio Somerville also with Sinistera in the 10 was an interesting, um, aspect. I thought he looked dangerous. There was times where I thought maybe he got a little aggressive, too aggressive. The touch got away from him, but um, one of those players in the 10, I like, and I think that he, I think Farka can manufacture a front four that can get goals, but what that looks like will be, is yet to be seen, I guess. Um, so will it be striker by committee? Uh, to start the Farca era. Will will Bamford be the name striker or will he try to get Ruter to lead the line? I don't think he was an out-and-out out number nine based on that performance uh, against Monaco in York as a friendly. Um, Archie Gray. I think Archie, we all thought it would be Jabby that would be the center back or the um, midfield partnership along with Ampadu to start the season, especially now that Tyler Adams injury continues to be prolonged. Archie Gray. I saw him have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Farka right after the scum game. That tells me a lot. That tells me that either he is trying to get better as a player or Farka sees him as a major part of the plans. Archie Gray, will he start? Will he grab the shirt away from Darko J Jabby? I think is one to look out for. So who's going to start tomorrow? Let's find that out against Nottingham Forest. It's something that I'll be looking at as the team sheet. It's who's going to partner with Ampitu tomorrow? Um, Darlow. Obviously, Darlow is now uh being closed in on Carlin Dar Darlo 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 if I can put my teeth in um I think that that is 
I don't think he walks in to be the number one keeper. I think Meslier, for the first time in his career, is going to have competition. Now, you could say at the end of last month, well, they were sitting him because of the conceding uh, goals um, kind of record that he was run that he was on. But uh, an actual competition with Darlow and Meslier needs to take place. And, you know, you could sell Meslier, but I don't know what you would get back in return. You want to sell these players at their highest value. That's what you want to wind up doing. A lot of these players are at lower valuation. So, look, I'm fine with selling some of them. Obviously, I understand some of them have to be at the out the door. But just like stocks and trades, you don't want to hold on too long. And, it, and I feel like we've held on too long to some of these players. Max Vober, uh, which is kind of old news, the loan. Look, I think that there could be some positives with this loan scenario that's coming out. You're getting wages off books. Hopefully they, they reestablish right themselves. Um, so you're selling them at a higher value. But the problem with Max Vober going out the door is not just the fact that he's a loan E. It's the fact that now you really have to bring in two players. You have to replace where he's going. You have to replace somebody in the center back position because you're very thin there on the back line. And then you probably have to sell someone. So it's not just Max Vober. It's two It's two players because the probability of you having to increase some sort of sale down the road um, is more likely. So whether that be Jack Harrison, we have a plethora of wingers. But we're going to lose not just Max Fober because of this. We're going to lose another player because we have to generate revenue. So it's just going to be interesting to see how that unfolds and very disappointed in in him. And I don't really think really the Salzburg trio, as I'm calling them, um, it's going to be very difficult to welcome them back. Christensen, Fober, Aronson. You know, they were champions of of the Bundesliga, got us regulated, and now they think that they're too good for the championship. So as a fan, it's going to be very difficult to welcome them back if they do decide to come back um, and we get promoted. March, you don't get a Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Show notes. Uh, I am taking time off the next two weeks. I'm really just kind of doing... Maybe a, a car uh, little podcast or I am uh, maybe doing a couple minutes on a reaction with Chris stateside. Um, but please uh, always like, comment, subscribe. And um, thank you. Thank you for letting me be part of the Leeds United community. I appreciate you. My name is Alex Simon signing off. MOT, marching on together. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.